first of all, just... Um, yeah. Welcome to the National Physical Laboratory and welcome to our Information Technology Open Days. And I hope you will find the, the exhibits of much interest. And now it is with great pleasure that I invite Mr. Kenneth Baker, Minister of State for Industry and Information Technology, to address you. to the work that the NPL has done over the years in this area of microtechnology. <coughs> One of the first digital computers to operate from a stored program was built here in the late 1940s, and the work was done under the direction of Alan Turing, a man widely regarded as one of the fathers of computing and in one of them. And the first NPL computer, the Pilot Ace, was first demonstrated in 1950, uh, and was later used to offer the first ever computing service to industry. Uh, I think that one of the things that NPL uh, was really first to recognize uh, was uh, that um, uh, data communication systems uh, and the linking of data communication systems uh, was going to be the big future. And that a computer could make information of all kinds available where and when it was needed. By the mid-60s, work was underway at NPL on a new kind of data communication network, specifically designed to handle the sort of data available from computers, in fact, the packet switching network. The first packet switching local network was running on site here by the end of the 1960s. You'll be able to see it in operation today, and of course you will know that British Telecom has now established a national packet switching network. Indeed, they're very proud, as you will see downstairs, of having an internal network of, com of, of terminals, uh, uh, which you actually have to operate yourself, don't you? You do indeed. <laughs> don't employ expensive executive secretaries and typists, you'll do it all yourself. Uh, so what are the ideas and developments to be seen at NPL today, which will be the everyday features of the IT world tomorrow? Perhaps the key word here is communications between man and machine, and between machine and machine. And as you look around the exhibits, you will see the wide range of the current NPL work and its relevance to the future of British industry. First, security of data. Inevitably, IT offers new possibilities for its own misuse. The very existence of credit cards, for example, means that they can be stolen and used for fraud. And uh, indeed, there are uh, advice given um, my son tells me, as he listens to the radio a lot, uh, of how, in fact, to cheat on credit cards, because there was a man the other morning explaining how you could actually uh, misuse a credit card. And so he came and told me this good news and asked to borrow my credit card. <laughs> uh, ways of enhancing data security are being developed, and I'm pleased to say that NPL has brought together 13 British companies in this field into a group called the Tokens and Transactions Control Consortium, for the purpose of transferring new technology in this area from NPL into the marketplace as early as possible. The real key to many of the possibilities of IT lies in effective standards, especially standards in communication. In this area, NPL is well experienced and has an important role to play. The establishment of the Focus Committee for IT Standards and the current consideration of technical standard cable systems underline the importance we attach to work in this area. And I am very pleased that NPL is doing more work in the area of information technology. It has many other functions as Great Laboratory. Uh, the main function is the standards of equipment and of metals and metrology for British industry. But I am very pleased that you are doing work in this area. That's just what I like to see. I want to see your excellence, Dr. Dean, the excellence of your staff coming out into British industry. And I would like to say how much we appreciate in the department all that your staff do here. We're very proud of what you do. Uh, and I'm very pleased that uh, all your work is now being focused, I think, more sharply than in the past, uh, upon the industrial area and the commercial exploitation. Uh, the NPL is a major government research laboratory. It's a center of excellence. And it's concerned with innovative civil applications of information technology. So I wish your laboratory well in its program of work. I hope that you'll be able to carry the message further 
and you'll be able to attract more companies in to see what you're doing and create that synergy between the scientist and the industrialist. Thank you very much.